Hey guys, it's Brian from RedBand.com and today I'm going to show you all about emotions. Not like the emotions I'm going to start crying or anything like that. I'm going to show you emotions on your iPhone. Now, in Japan, I'm, this is what I'm guessing. In Japan, they have, you know, like the happy faces that you type in email or you put it like a sideways, whatever, happy face. They have that in Japan a little bit more advanced. They have like little icons of like happy faces, puppy dogs, ice cream, anything you want. And uh, on the iPhone, they have that built in, but they have the feature turned off. So that, that if you live in Japan, I think it's turned on or something like that. But anyways, there's a way to unlock it so that you can use all these emotions on your iPhone and, and people that have iPhones already have it turned on, so they can already read it. So all you need is to turn it on so you can send it to them. And supposedly, uh, Apple is going to uh, take this off the application store is what I've been told or read. Uh, so this might be a limited edition thing so you might want to do this quick. It's 99 cents to do. Anyways, uh, open up your iPhone. Go to the application store. You guys know what that is, right? Uh, type in the word emo. E-M-O. Like emotional. Like those people that hang out at the mall at Hot Topic. Now look at, try, search for emotions. I don't know if you guys can see that. Emotions. And there's going to be quite a few. You're going to want one that's called Typing Genius. E-M-O-J-I. It's 99 cents. Now there might be some other ones that work. I only chose this one because it had the best reviews. All right, so you download it, you install it, you pay your 99 cents, you move on. What this does is this is a program that just opens up that uh, feature. So once you install it, you open up the program, you can play with it a little bit, whatever, close the program. As soon as you open and close it, it automatically turns on a feature in your phone. So now what you have to do, this is why I had to make a video of this and just not tell you about it. Just go into your settings, which is, you know, your settings. Beep. Scroll down to general. Go to, it's hard to read backwards, keyboard. Click on international keyboards. Go all the way down to Japan and see where it says EMOJ? Turn that on. I already have it on, but click that and turn it on. Now what does that do? It does something really sweet. Now on the old iPhone, before you do it, hold on. Before you do it, on your keyboard, uh, if you look by the space bar, you have that symbol, the space bar, and return, right? After you do that, what I just showed you, you do. It opens up this little globe right there. See that globe? So like if you're in a text message, it's like you're typing like, hi. And you want to, and you want to add uh, some emos. You click on the globe, and holy shit! Look at all these emotions. You got poop. You got up, down, hap, you know, all these little sign language things. You got alien heads. You got crying babies. You got aliens. You got every single smiley face you can possibly want. You got Asian women and Indian men. Oh shit! You got animals like fucking bears and hamsters and you got cars, you got iPhones, you got buildings. Yeah. There's over 300 and when you send it to somebody with an iPhone, I'm not sure if it works on um, other phones yet. At, oh, let's test it. Uh, oh, this is kind of cool. We'll do this live. Uh, I will send it to my Verizon LG Dare. So. A, I will just put um, 
Let's see, what will I put? I put a couple pieces of poop, put a hamster, a frog, put a building, put a Statue of Liberty, put a horse, put a, some luscious lips, I'll put a monkey. Oh, a syringe needle. They actually have a syringe needle. That's kind of fucked up. Oh, they have a fart. They do have a fart. Look at that fart. Uh, I want to show. Oh, I want to show you this one that I can't couldn't believe they had. I just kind of th thought it was kind of weird if I could find it. Uh, actually, I will show you all of those. Look at that. Those last four that I just did. Uh, cigarette, toilet, drugs, guns, bombs. <laughs> Wow, I love Japanese people. They still... Anyways, I'm sending this to my uh, Verizon phone right now. It's sending. Here's my Verizon phone. Let's see if it gets it. My guess is that it won't even receive it. Anyways, it works while I'm waiting. It works on iPhone, uh, definitely. So, like, even if somebody else doesn't open this up and you send them poop and stuff like that, they still can see it and they're like, hey, how did you do that? It freaks people out. So, uh, it's kind of cool. It's worth 99 cents just to do that, especially if you know people that have iPhones and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm getting it on this phone. So, I'm guessing if you don't have a iPhone or a smartphone that has the Japanese keyboard built into it, it doesn't send the message. So only use it on people that have iPhones, I guess, which nowadays it seems like everyone has an iPhone. Anyways, this is Brian with RedBand.com, and if that text ever goes through, I'll put it in the annotations of this YouTube video. I'll put it right here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Again, this is Emotions. I don't know if it's it's called it's probably called something else and I'm just I sound like a dummy, but it's called emotions for the iPhone. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh Zelda! Hat.